Hi guys, it's been a while since we've uh, done an update to the vacuum chamber video. Um, so I wanted to uh, bring attention to some of the new um, vacuum pumps that we have and some of the differences in uh, the chamber uh, from the original video that have changed. So um, I just wanted to do an unboxing so you guys can see what it looks like when you guys get these products. Right here I have a uh, three gallon uh, aluminum vacuum chamber and uh, a three CFM pump, our uh, VE pumps under our best value line. Um, See it started. Start with the chamber. So the uh, vacuum chamber is going to come to you uh, just like this. You're going to get a uh, goodie bag inside. The lid itself, it'll actually be brown, uh, it won't be clear like this one. It'll be just like this. Um, the paper is still on the lid, so all you gotta do is uh, remove the gasket, peel the paper back, take you a few minutes to tear it off, and then you'll reveal it nice and clear. Um, when we machine these, uh, we don't wanna get scuffs and scratches on it when we're doing it, so we wanna make sure we can get it. It's totally pristine. Okay, the uh, pot here, uh, this is aluminum. Pots come out of uh, Wisconsin, so this is uh, all American aluminum. The uh, lids are made here in Chicago, and then we take all the hardware and we assemble it all right here in our factory. Uh, we guarantee these to hold a vacuum and lose no more than 2.5 inches of mercury over a 24 hour period. And to check that, what we do is an actual bench test. Uh, we test these for 24 hours under vacuum. So we'll vacuum them down, we'll pull them, pull them down, uh, we'll set the valves, and then we'll leave them overnight and then we come in the morning, we'll check on them. Any of them that have lost any more than you know what our guarantee is, we'll go ahead and swap the hardware, retest it. So what you're getting is a fully tested product from start to finish. We built all of it. We know every piece of it. Um, the gasket that we have on here, and this is one of our patents here uh, at Best Value Vax. Uh, what's nice is the gasket's flippable, so if you ever get a cut or a tear in it, or you know you started getting real indented, um, uh, we're talking thousands and thousands and thousands of uses. But if that were to happen, uh, you do have another side to use so you can flip it. You can also take the gasket off and you can clean it. Um, the gasket is replaceable, so if something happened to it, you can also buy a new one, uh, you know, for many years down the road. Some of the cool things about our chamber is valve assemblies are made with quarter inch MPT fittings. So in the event that it's 10 o'clock at night and you have a damaged valve or maybe it uh, did fail and you, three years from now or something like that, you can actually go down to the hardware store, pick up a half inch MPT valve and swap it out yourself. Um, we also sell obviously all of the hardware so it can be changed. But what I'm getting at is more importantly, if something were to happen, you can actually repair this yourself. Um, so no matter what the situation is, you'll be able to uh, find yourself a fix. Um, within the goodie bag, what we have here is uh, we got a filter and we got a hose and we have a non-stick pad. Here's our filter, filter goes here. The filter basically, once you open the vacuum chamber, any debris that's in the air, some of our woodworkers and stuff like that, if you're in a, you know, an environment where you have a lot more dust and debris, it's basically gonna prevent anything that's going back into the chamber when you release the vacuum. Okay, inside here we have our return and exchange policy in our form. So if you're not happy with it, or maybe you got the wrong size, um, or you know, heck, it could happen, you might have a defective one. Um, if that were to happen, you can absolutely contact us and get an exchange, um, you know, warranty repair, or replacement. These things are tested very, very strenuously by us. So I don't think you're going to have any problems. But again, sometimes people get the wrong chamber or the way it looks online and the dimensions that they have, you know, they, um, you, you might undershoot what you needed it for. Uh, the other thing is too, it comes with a nice little uh, instruction manual and some troubleshooting guide on the back. It also has a nice altitude sheet. So it can kind of give you an idea, depending on what altitude you're performing a vacuum at, what uh, pressures you can expect to see in the gauge. The gauge, obviously, um, our gauges, they're really, really accurate gauges. They're liquid-filled gauges. And the reason why they're liquid-filled is uh, for shipping. So no matter what, you're gonna get a gauge that works. It's not gonna get, you know, through damage and handling, um, you know, thrown off a little bit. Gauges are pretty darn accurate. Um, they're within, we rate them to be within 5%, uh, but more importantly, they're more like two to two and a half percent in accuracy, they're very, very close. Um, the gauges, all of them have a type of valve built into them, and it's called a valve because 
you know, essentially this nipple right here, um, it is the seal for the glycerin inside the gauge. And that seal um, is what allows the gauge to breathe at different atmospheres. So one of the things that you have to do is you have to cut the little tip off the gauge here. And in some gauges, we have a little yellow uh, flipping handle. You just flip that thing over and what it allows is the normal atmospheric pressure that we're in to enter inside the head, the gauge head. So that way when you're pulling it back, it's accurate to the altitude that you're at. Um, otherwise, these are packed and filled at a different elevation than where you are. So that difference is gonna throw your gauge off a little bit. So that's something I always wanna tell people is make sure you cut the nipple because it will calibrate the gauge to the atmosphere and altitude that you're in. All right. Moving on to the uh, vacuum pump. This pump is the DE115, which is our three CFM single stage vacuum pump. Comes with a bottle of oil. There's a nice instruction manual that comes with it. Of course, the pump. Okay. What's uh, interesting about this pump? This is our VE model pump. Um, this pump is an upgrade from our orange pumps that you see on the website. Our orange part pumps are our economy pump. Uh, we do have one more smaller pump, um, which is our uh, BVV-130. Uh, basically, this is a much smaller pump, super easy to shift, ultra quiet. This pump works really good with some of the smaller chambers that you see here on the desk. This pump here, back to it, uh, this pump is a quarter horsepower pump. As you can see, the motor is a little bit bigger than this motor, uh, which makes it a better pump. The company that makes this pump, they actually make the motor housing, the windings, they make every single component of the pump. So it's not put together from multiple suppliers. It's all done in one house, even the electronic boards. The windings in the motor are actually wound at the factory where they make the motor that's inside the factory where they finish the pump. One thing that's nice about that is there's a lot of quality control with the manufacturer that makes this pump. That's why we really, really like the VE pumps. The other thing is too, the VE pump is rated to, uh, the single stage here is rated to 37 microns. And what that means is it has a very, very good vacuum pull. Um, vacuum, that, that ultimate micron rating on the pump, this one is extremely true. Um, so because they have such good uh, engineering tolerances and machining on this pump, every pump that we pull out is always 37 microns. So what is nice about this pump is it's going to reliably pull the vacuum that you want it to and it's a workhorse. All you got to do is change the oil every time you use it. Um, you know, if you can use it for a long extended period of time, change the oil and this thing's going to last you for a very long time. Um, we've experienced little to no defects on these pumps, so I think that you know this pump is definitely where you want to be if you're going to spend money on a pump because you're going to spend it one time, you're going to spend it right. Um, nice thing about this pump is because it's 37 microns, it's actually going to pull to a vacuum, a, a very deep vacuum like I talked about, but depending on what process you're doing with the vacuum chamber, it's going to speed it up. So in some cases, people are purging uh, materials and organic materials inside these vacuum chambers. Those Organic materials are gonna purge out the solvents faster with a pump that has a lower micron rating. This pump is a single stage. There's also a dual stage, which is a two-stage pump. The two-stage pump will allow you to pull down to 25 microns. Um, also, they usually come with a little bit bigger motor. Um, this one's a three CFM, and the CFM is truly speed. So if you wanted a 12 CFM single stage pump, it's gonna have the same micron, that uh, approximately the same micron as you know this three CFM, the only thing is it's gonna pull vacuum faster. So this gauge is gonna to get to the, it's gonna bury the gauge faster with higher CFM. What's the real difference on a three CFM versus let's say, you know, a four or five or a six? It's only, a, you know, it, we're shaving minutes off here. Uh, there's not, you know, on these smaller vessels, it's not that big of a deal, but once the vessels get big, 1.9 vacuum ovens like we carry, you know, 3.5s, you wanna get higher CFMs because you need to move that air faster, otherwise you're gonna be waiting forever to get to the vacuum. Um, okay, so to load up this pump, um, this is your uh, vacuum fitting. Fits on the hose that comes with this. Something to note about the hoses. We check every one of them, but you want to make sure that you have your silicone gaskets inside these hoses. No gaskets, no vacuum. 
Um, vacuum is very, very sensitive to leaks. So you want to make sure you don't have any leaks in the system. Um, otherwise, you're going to have trouble. So put these on nice and tight, and you'll be all set. All right, so one thing that's nice about this pump is right below here is a filter. The filter um, will help filter out oil mist. All of these vacuum pumps, they emit a little bit of oil mist, a little bit of like smoke. These uh, filters actually help keep the smoke from you know, filling up a whole room. Um, you know, some of the uh, master cool pumps, they tend to smoke a little bit more. Some of the pumps that are higher CFM, they're moving more air through the pump. So you're obviously gonna experience a little bit more smoke mist. Anyway, unscrew the uh, filter, set that aside. And then basically, there's an O-ring on here. Don't lose the O-ring. Take your oil, and you're gonna fill it up. On the front of this, there's a line that shows the level. Like, uh, I don't like anything else. You wanna fill it up to at least that line. You can fill it over the line, it's okay. Don't panic, you don't have to take any out. Um, you wanna make sure that the rotary vane is, is submerged in oil, and the only way to do that is to follow the indicators on the sight glass. This will take almost the whole ball, uh, bottle of oil, so you have a little bit left over. And I do apologize if I am talking fast. I know these videos can get kind of long setting this stuff up, so I'm trying to cover everything I can as soon as I can. And let's put this together. Okay, we're loaded with the oil. All we do is plug it in. Okay, we're all set. All right, so the vacuum chamber. Uh, we got these two valves right here. This valve, obviously this is the flow back into the vacuum chamber. This is your flow from your vacuum pump. So we're gonna close this valve, leave this one open, turn this thing on, and it's gonna start pulling vacuum. When you set the lid on here, you wanna make sure the lid is centered um, and none of it's, you know, just the ed edges barely hanging onto the pot. It'll still catch, um, but you wanna make sure you get it. Um, sometimes you might have to push down on the lid. It's very rare. Uh, the gaskets are, um, you know, a silicone gasket. So uh, they're very pliable and soft. It makes it very easy to start. Like I said, I just fired this up after we opened it. Um, so I'm just going to just normally pull all the way down, but I'm just kind of giving you a demo. So the thing is about this is what I just did is something that a lot of customers do. And if you were to look at this gauge, we're actually losing vacuum. This is a no-no. What you want to do is you want to close this valve first and then turn off the vacuum pump. Uh, the reason why I did it is because I want to show you guys that if you leave this valve open, you can, you can audibly hear the air pulling through the filter and backwards. This is a big problem because somebody might assume, oh, well, my vacuum chamber is leaking, but it's not. Actually, what can happen is the oil inside the pump can get sucked through the hose and go right down on top of the product inside. And once that happens, anything that's in it is absolutely ruined. So again, when you're running the vacuum pump, you're pulling a vacuum on the system, you always want to close the valve first, then turn off your pump. After that, the seal's broken, no problem. Now this will actually maintain, like I said, overnight. You can hold it. Um, you know, our customers can use it for pretty much any application, but a lot of people, they'll pull it to a full vacuum, and then they'll come back to it later. Um, if they need to open it up, they'll pull a vacuum again, or they'll pull it down again in the morning and just leave it. Um, this vacuum pump, as you can hear, it's about as loud as um, an old dishwasher in your home, just to kind of give you an idea of uh, its noise level. So it's, it's not too bad. I think it's uh, measured out at about 55 decibels. Well, this concludes my unboxing of the three gallon vacuum chamber and the uh, VE115 vacuum pump, our 3CFM. Uh, I hope that this actually gives you guys a good idea of what you're gonna get when you order from us. And um, I hope to have you as a customer. Thank you.